So the first place I want to film is the mansion. That's where Larissa had her studio. I came across mansion completely by chance. And the minute I walked into the house, I was like, this is what I've been looking for in Beirut since arriving. So mansion as a space is one of the only open public spaces in the city that is used by all the cultural institutions that exist. We have uh, curators, anthropologists, sociologists that all have spaces in, in the mansion. The house itself as a physical entity is very important because this is what gathers everybody in it. So having a very big part of it uh, at risk also creates risk to the public and to the people using the space. So this is why we're trying to manage this as quickly as possible so that we can keep the space functional and active. The building is about two kilometers away from the center of the blast at the harbor and it has all sorts of problems. Basically what happened was the main facade was hit, yeah. so all the pressure of the bomb came directly towards here. The major issues that we have are on this corner of the house. And you can start seeing it from here. Yeah. So this uh, is this is new. Everything is is new here. This yeah. is all new. of all these of small that. cracks. Oof. And uh, at some point they're all converging to yeah, this to, corner. To this corner. This is something that uh, to to be taken into account structurally. As you can see here, it starts from the ground. We're going up. It hit all the windows, and then we continue on the top on the upper part. So this. This is quite the massive crack you know, that yeah. you can see here. The upper one that's directly connecting to the upper window. So this is why we circled this corner as the most affected. Mm -hmm. So this 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 crack here goes through the slab, right? Yes. And and does it go log like, does it go straight in the slab or uh, is it just? Well, on you this? can't see it uh, on top, but if we now take a look take in a the look library, inside, we can inside, see it. You can see a bit. Yani, all the false ceilings was affected, so all the false ceilings fell. We also have all these cracks that mm. are new, especially here along the window. And these are the things that we can see from the outside and the inside. So they continue and they go up to the slab. The most scary mm. cracks is uh, the longitudinal ones. Yeah. So if it continues to slide, then the whole structure is at a very high risk. And it needs to be consolidated the fastest possible. That's uh, very urgent, very urgent. So here on the second floor, you can see also oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the effects of the blast. On this side, it's less dangerous because we have these columns that mm -hmm. are holding the arch. So this actually holds up. Exactly, but on the inside, in this studio, it's not the same. So you can see the entire thing just Just went out, out completely. Out. Yeah. yeah, it fell all over. And no one was in the office? No. No, thank God. So this, these are new cracks? Yeah, these are new cracks. So this crack is, is quite impressive because if there is something that is going to fall, it's actually this part. It will not be able to sustain much more weight for a long time. So this is the most important part to reinforce and it should be done very quickly. This is a longitudinal crack and this is in a corner where you have reinforced stones. So once you have a crack that is longitudinal in this kind of wall, that means that it is sliding out and that the pressure now is literally on the middle of the wall, which is not reinforced. So if there is, and it, it, there will be a collapse, it is extremely dangerous. Now there is two ways to classify this. On a structural point of view, um, in the scale of things, this is obviously not a number one priority case. But once you go deeper and you look at Beirut's heritage, it is a priority. 